welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman, and today we're going to be talking about forces. Forces are everywhere, and they're pushing at you at every single moment. But how do forces really work? To understand forces, we're going to pass this on to one of my favorite scientists. Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton was born in 1643. And before then, people didn't really understand gravity and forces. Isaac Newton was the first man to understand these complicated stuff. And he wrote it all in one book. This book is called Principia. Now, let's get to the intro. Isaac Newton's questioning of science all started when he was sitting next to an apple tree. He was minding his own business when a little apple hit him in the noggin. After this moment, he wondered why the apple went down to the ground. After years of questioning, he realized that there was forces pulling us at all moments. He wrote his book and contained it with three special laws. The first law, the law of inertia. This law states that everything that is moving will stay moving without any forces pushing on it. And everything that's still will stay still. To understand how to calculate forces, we go to Newton's second law. This law states that the net force or the added forces is equal to the mass of the given object and its acceleration. A ball on balanced ground has not many forces that are strong enough to push or pull it away. However, when you push the object, the forces aren't balanced anymore and the object is in motion. Newton's last law states that every action has a reaction. If you bounce a ball on the ground, it will come back up, because the ground gives a reaction. Some objects with too much mass don't have a reaction, because the force pushing down is stronger than the force pushing up. That's Newton's three laws, and he's very proud of them. Newton's three laws are amazing! <laughs> Thank you so much, Isaac Newton, or my friend, Ryan Smith for being in this great video. If you wanna see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, ah, science can always be fun.